What is going on guys, DBG here, and the whole account getting deleted saga is not stopping. If you guys don't know, if you play the mobile game and this error comes up, your account is gone. It's finito, it's gonzo ball, it is absolutely gone. Thankfully, it didn't happen to me. It has happened to a couple of people and it has actually been happening since Tuesday which is one of the kind of crazy things that a lot of people didn't realize. Like this has been happening since the day that the mobile app came out. The day it came out, it has been happening. So if you uh, if you don't know, the reason why this is getting uh, traction is because for of Lethal 2K. Another YouTuber and it says uh, they can't retrieve deleted data and uh, it takes two terms of service has all the information, which obviously the terms of service says we don't actually own our players. Like that you don't own anything and that 2K have the right to delete your entire account however they want. They literally have the right to delete your account and take stuff away from you and you don't, can't do anything about it. It also says you delete it on your Mighty Mobile app. He didn't delete it. Obviously it has been this glitch. But 2K, according to Lethal 2K, not even according to Lethal, because obviously he's tweeting out about it and there are people that are coming to him explaining the situation. So some people got some compensation, but um, you can see here what someone got. So basically, as far as I'm aware, somebody had almost every card in the game. They got Jordan Pippen, Diamond LeBron, Tis the Season Kobe, Tis the Season Wemby, David Robinson, T-Mac, uh, electric PD drown from the half pass and electric Chris Bosch. Electric PD from the half pass doesn't really make much sense because it's not in the half pass. But either way, um, this is where the Hall of Fame pass locker code came from. The locker code that you can get the free Hall of Fame. Um, Actually, no, apparently it's not according to this. This locker code came out today, but I wouldn't be surprised if this is where it came from. Um, And they got 700k PC. Yeah, you're not... That's not nearly enough for an entire... For an entire set like of cards. The only positive is. Is that like 700k VC. And those cards. Like you're going to be able to build a team. And in 700k VC is going to get you the next. Two and a half promos. Not the worst thing in the world. But still. Um, but when it came here. 2k made it clear they can't give every card back. Apparently they cannot restore. The lock-ins. The challenges. And they only told to give a list of um the top 13 to 20 cards and as it says the others were part of sets so um i, I really don't know what's happening here like it could actually legitimately start a thing where if you've got a no money spent account go and get your account wiped go and get your account wiped like but um yeah um that is a little bit annoying and then again i've seen i does a full footage show to packs i don't think it does by the way i have seen the uh you see all these here i've seen the pack foot yeah you can see it there the pack with all these like it is what it is um so it, it's proof is there One second. Um, either way, it is just a whole wild situation. I would just stay off the mobile app. Like at the end of the day, 2K legally in their terms of service do not have to give anybody anything. So clearly if this has happened to you, if this has happened to the people, they're gonna get something back. So like Lethal, who had his 1.8 million MT. By the way, if they give him 700k VC, that is worth more than 1.8 million MT. And if they give him his starting team back, which is going to be a little bit annoying for him specifically, because obviously he's got a huge collection because for content. But it's something. It is something. But um, at the same time, like... Oh, it says here you can check the history of your account. Okay, perfect. You also need very strong proof. Perfect. So people can't just lie. That's good. So um, what 2K are doing 
to fix it. Look, is it a bad way of fixing it? No, but like it shouldn't be happening in the first place. Like obviously 2K can, 2K can't, when the account's deleted, they can't give everything back. It, sh it shouldn't be happening in the first place. They bring out a mobile app and the f within one day, it starts deleting people's accounts. It starts deleting people's accounts within one day. So I honestly will say, wait. If you're gonna play on the mobile account, hop on a burner. If you're gonna play on the mobile account, hop on a burner. Do that. Trust me on that. Go and hop on the burner. Um, go and hop on the burner. So this app is not safe right now, unless you're willing to take the risk. I'd say the risk is legitimately like, 0.01%. I reckon this probably happened to 10 people of the couple of hundred thousands that have downloaded the game. But still, but still, if you've got like, if you've got a no money spent account and you don't really care about the reward cards you have and you getting resets not gonna set you back a crazy amount of time, then be my guest and go play the mobile. Then, and go play the mobile and don't even worry if this happens. But if you're somebody like me that has put in so much freaking money into this game. Again, I've made so much more, but I've still put in so much money in this game. Um, I'm not going near it. I'm not going near it because if it, happened to, if it happened to one person, it can happen to anybody. And for all the people, again, I said it in the video yesterday when everyone was talking about um, the like, targeted people targeting lethal look lethal doesn't criticize this game enough he just says tells people not to spend money lethal is not being targeted i said it in yesterday's video and people thought he was being targeted like the matt mojo situation we got auction his battle last year and um, look without question this is not targeted i cannot stress that enough that this is not uh, this was not a targeted thing this was a glitch and it just happened to happen to a youtuber but i'm kind of let's say i'm glad it happened i'm really not glad it happened to anybody I'm glad that I'm, I wasn't the person it happened to, but um, I'm glad that at least it's kind of known now that this can happen, that um, you can get your account glitched. But at the same time, look, I don't, it is annoying, like this isn't great. Like you can see anyway with this, like apologies for the trouble the last few days, the big loss and hey, for you to be totally empty handed, wishing there was a better way to recover everything. So clearly people from 2K support are actually, some people from 2K support are working. It really all depends on who you get in touch with in 2K support. There are some people that are obviously gonna really wanna help you and there are others that, not that they're not gonna want to help you, but they couldn't care less. Um, and it really all just depends on who you get. So I hope Lethal um, does keep us updated when we get the stuff back. I do think any, the few people this has happened to, I think the few people this has happened to will end up getting something back it's not going to be their full account, but at the same time, like, I'd hate to lose my account because of how many, like, squad builder type videos that I use and how many random players that I kind of, like, you might be saying, like, oh, I could sell them all. But at the same time, like, it is, um, like, I kind of need some players, like, I'll never know when I'll need a Rudy Gay if you get me. But um, also, one very kind of disappointing thing is that all these cards are unauctionable. Not great, not great. But again, is it perfect? No. Is it better than nothing? Yes. Does it change the fact that this should not happen in the first place? Of course not. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.